welcome back to school of civil engineering this is atullah with another new video as we have started css safe tutorial series and uh, this is its lesson 7 and in our previous 6 lecture i have just completed uh, defining all types of materials load and subgrade soil properties we have done everything so in this lecture i will just show that how we will design a slab okay how will draw and design a slab in safe 2016 so let's start and before starting uh, if you're new to our channel then subscribe to our channel and also if you're a civil engineer then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so first of all i will uh, draw a slab like as that plan okay so actually this is a uh, my real project plan okay so they have the overhanging portion of slab with four feet and they have that value in x direction okay this is the value for x direction and uh, this is the value for y direction okay so we'll uh, draw the grid line <laughs> as like that plan okay so to draw that plan I will just open our safe software but before uh, starting safe software because uh, in our uh, some tutorials I have told you that I will do not change our properties when we will design our slab or uh, foundation or anything okay or mat foundation because uh, this is our file we have saved that file CSI save 2016 tutorials so I will just make a safe copy of it because uh, when I will just work for near uh, i mean for a new project or for a new uh, things like uh, in this tutorial series i'm just going uh, going to discuss our slab so in another lecture i will just uh, discuss about and show about foundation design so i will just use that same parameter in my previous lectures i have told you that uh, i will do it because uh, if i define materials every time then it will take huge time that's why I'll just make a copy paste here and that copy file I'll use it SAF save SLA slab design slab design all right so this is our file for slab design so first of all I'll open our software and from here I will and click here okay and here CSSF 2016 tutorial but I will open uh, safe slab design and here safe slab uh, design and here is the file so open so uh, first of all we have to just uh, open our model so from here open and here I will open our model this is the safe slab design okay so click open and uh, here I have sorry I have uh, defined footing, isolated footing, mat, then slab 5 inch. Okay, but uh, in my just I have defined um, defined everything here because uh, when I will design different parameters of building in next, then uh, I mean in safe software, then uh, I'll just use that same parameters from here. I mean uh, that uh, properties. That's why I have defined everything in previous. Okay, so first of all. We have to go for uh, edit then we'll go grid data then add or modify grid data and from here global then we'll go here modify uh, show so from here first of all we'll select a spacing okay we'll select a spacing and here we'll give a a and our uh, spacing will be same as or that model actually this is a uh, real project plan okay so here if I show you that's uh, here is a real project plan okay and here see here this is the real project plan actually and uh, I'm just uh, designing that slab and also we'll check that this uh, value is okay or not with our main design okay so here uh, it's 13 mm, feet 2.5 then 16 feet 3 inch and uh, 13 feet 2.5 so uh, to defend slab actually 
first of all in first value you have to give zero then in second grid it's b i'll consider it's b so this is x direction okay it's b i'll consider it's 13 feet here you have to give the feet sign 13 feet and 2.5 inch then enter it will uh, automatically convert then i will come here this is the c and it's 16 feet and uh, 3 inch okay enter then again c d and here will give her uh, 13 feet and 2.5 inch right then done we have uh, done it now we'll go for our uh, next work so here we'll define uh, first of all one and uh, its value is thirteen feet two point five inch thirteen feet and two point five inch okay Uh, sorry, I have just make a mistake here. Our first value will not be zero. Just to delete that, simply click here and it press the delete button. Okay, uh, we have to just give her C. A here we'll give A. It's V. It's C, and the last is D, and it will be zero. Okay, so it's done. So our last last one will be zero. So our first value represent that from uh, A to B. It's uh, thirteen. 2.5 inches and v to c it's uh, 16 feet 3 uh, 2.5 inches like that okay so our uh, first value was 13 feet okay and our uh, second grid spacing was 13 feet, 13 feet 5 inches so i'll just come here for 2 it's 13 feet 5 inches enter after that I'll go here uh, for on to three. For three, it's four feet. Enter, and for last, for four, it's zero. Sorry. Sorry, here actually uh, our grid system work here. Uh, this is the one, two, three, four. Okay. So if you see here one two three four. So uh, first of all, so to maintain it, we have to give our that uh, that distance first, then that distance, and after that that distance. Okay. So I have uh, provided that value here like that. Here four, then thirteen feet five inch, then thirteen feet two point five inch, then zero. Right now i'll just simply and also you can uh, make it little or big so i'll simply click here okay then click here okay now see here here is our model data okay here is our model data and uh, this is the value for our model this one two three four and this a v c d okay and now we'll just draw syllab on it and we'll do everything so uh, in our next tutorial uh, i mean in our next tutorial i'll just show that how we'll draw slab beam and column also how we'll apply load on it and then how we'll design it so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video